as your academician, if you talk about the um, you know uh, computer science at the today's generation, what you call artificial intelligence or uh, IoT or be it blockchain technology, how sh students should be you know cope up with the latest technology? How should uh, student how students should enhance his skills uh, you know on a daily basis? But also as a researcher, uh, in addition to the academician, uh, you see different kinds of students. Uh, uh, you know, you would have seen different kind of students in your experience. How students should adapt their skills and also should they enhance their skills. And uh, with your support, uh, with the faculty support, uh, um, no, their perspective, you know, uh, it's it all their perspective that matters a lot in learning those things. And how should students should adapt all those things sir, in general, sir, in today's modern technology. Nice question. So, uh, <laughs> like I said, you know, like uh, we have to simply keep learning. Mm -hmm. So, especially computer science, AI, even I would say most of the modern, you know, like programs which are linked to technology, for example, media or even business, everything is linked to technology nowadays. Media used to be different, journalism used to be different 10 years ago, but yeah. now everything is linked to AI, mm -hmm. technology, everything. Yeah. So, unless we keep on learning, Sir. lifelong learning, it is more like a, more like we have breakfast. So, we have that, uh, we should have that skill and embedded uh, through some medication structural program, like for example, Sai University, like I said, uh, some courses we enforce some research component, which means that we are training our students to read additional papers, read uh, additional books, read uh, additional media, then come back and make a presentation. Even sometimes I get to know new things from students. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's how we train our students so that, you know, they can do some, not self-learning, but at the same time, lifelong learning. Futuristic, once our students graduate, we also have our alumni cell and career placement cell. We also have to engage with our students mm -hmm. on a continuous basis. And then we also try to offer them short programs, online programs. Mm -hmm even join master's programs, they can join, you know, kind of as, as, a base, as a continuous learning process, do a PhD if they have, you know, some good, you know, undergraduate grades. So we offer a lot of pathways to enhance that continuity in learning. And like as universities have their own restrictions for enhancing this, like I, like I said, continuous learning, lifelong learning, it's more like a natural way that should come from the students themselves. Only we can train and, you know, like create that culture, the rest is entirely up to them.